Shamwari Wildlife Rehabilitation Center has a very special patient, a year-old sable calf with a prosthetic leg. Megan Sinclair, a veterinary nurse, needs to inspect the condition of the sable's leg today. The calf had her leg amputated after sustaining a nasty fracture that wouldn't heal. The game farmer who owns the sable wanted to give this little calf a second chance and asked the center to help. Because she is still growing, the leg needs to be closely monitored, which can only be done under anesthetic for the sable's own well-being as well as the team's. Although she is only a year old, her horns are as sharp as spears. We're just checking that she's still breathing and she's okay. Yeah, my girl. It's a good thing if she makes noises because then we know that she is still awake and with us. So with the sable, it's nice to be able to hear that she is still breathing and when she squeaks, we at least know she is still alive. The prosthesis becomes sodden with moisture and hair that needs to be cleaned out while the team investigates the stump for any bad signs. This is still the temporary um, prosthetic, it's not the final one. On the final one they're going to make proper straps. The average selling price for a sable has grown by almost 500% in recent years, so this little lady is a very valuable animal. It's our first time doing um, this sort of procedure on a wild animal. Here at Shimori, we, we wouldn't normally do this to a wild animal, but just because of her value um, and because it's not ours, it was someone else's choice to do this. Um, so this was the only other option besides obviously putting her to sleep. Once the cast has been cleaned and prepared, it's time to put the prosthesis back on. So then we have to squeeze the leg um, back into the, the prosthetic and replace it. And you can see it slides in quite nicely because this is um, just sort of a temporary device until we get the, the, the proper one when she's fully grown. Um, that's why we're using the elastoplast, which is not ideal, but it does the trick. I won't say she's going to be able to probably fully run on it, but I think you know, it helps support the other limbs as well as um, it helps with her back because we found that when she didn't have a prosthetic, her back and her other leg were taking a lot of strain. The prosthesis is secure and the team is satisfied. The leg looks good. Now it's time to wake her up again and Megan administers the reversal agent. This drug is very effective and within five minutes the calf is alert. As soon as she can muster the strength, she gets back onto her feet. But now she needs to remember that she has four legs and not three. Her prosthesis takes some getting used to again. The only thing we find is once we do wake her up, she just has to re-acknowledge and accept that leg again. So as you'll see, she hobbles a bit and, and lifts it up quite high as she walks away. Um, and that, that can be a bit of a, a problem to begin with, but she soon settles into her leg. In a couple of hours, the young sable will be more comfortable in her makeshift limb and move more easily. This is a brave little calf indeed, and her fighting spirit, typical of her species, has brought her this far. <laughs>